Okay, part two wants us to calculate the equation of the regression line y on x for species p. So make sure you're using the right um, the right row here. So to do that, we're going to need sx because we're finding y on x. We're going to need sxx and sxy. So sxx is going to be, and they've summed up the data for us, so that's useful. We're going to do 558.75 minus 66.5 squared over 8. Hundred ninety one over thirty two, um, or five point nine six eight. S X Y is what seventeen thousand and eighty two point five minus uh, sixty six point five times by nineteen thirty five over eight. which is 997.8125. And then the next job, once we've done that, is to work out B. B is this value here. So that is the gradient of the regression line and is equal to SXY over SXX. This is in your formula booklet, but it's worth you knowing that um, so you don't have to be flicking through it. So we're going to do this 997.8125 over the 5.9. So that is 167.2. I'm going to round that to three significant figures, but I'm also going to save that into my memory. Well, let's save it into memory B so that it matches. I've got a, cal um, a video on how to save things into the memory so that you've got the exact answer that you can use later if you want to watch that video to learn how to do that. It's really useful. Um, saves lots of error errors popping up in your work. Um, so the next job is to work out um, A. And in order to work out A, we need the mean of X and the mean of Y. So the mean of X is going to be 66.5 over 8, which is 8.3125 and y bar mean of y is 1935 over 8 which is 241.875 So once we've got those two values, we can then find A. Um,
So once we've got those two values, the x bar and y bar, we can then get a because a is equal to y bar minus b that we found earlier times x bar. So a is going to be 241.875 minus um, the b value which we saved into our memory times by 8.3125. So that's giving me a value of negative 1,147.7 or minus 1148. So that's our A and B. We can then say that the, the actual equation of the regression line so Y is equal to a plus bx, so that's minus 1148, or 1150 if you're rounding it to three significant figures, um, plus b, which from earlier was 167 times by x. So that's your regression line. Don't forget, when they ask for a regression line, it wants the equation of a straight line. So don't work, do anything crazy with x and y. x and y are meant to be in the equation. It's an equation of a line.